Soon the fire will die, the smoke and ashes will drift away, and grass will cover the place. It is nearly 70 years now since World War II ended, but images like these still very raw. Memories captured on film. This was the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp, filmed as the Nazis' control over Europe came to an end. And its edit later overseen, though not completed, by Alfred Hitchcock before it disappeared into the archives. Now it's been recompiled by the London Imperial War Museum, restored and tweaked and premiering at the Berlinale. A new take on what was a propaganda film with very clear intent. This was going to be a film to a denazification. So the aims of the film were to make sure that any lingering support for the Nazis was undermined and also to make German people aware of their shared responsibility for the atrocities. Nazi Germany is a big unofficial theme at the Berlinale this year, from the Hollywood takes like The Monuments Men starring George Clooney to the smaller productions like this one, looking at how Paris was saved from Nazi destruction. It was a lifetime ago for many, but is a subject that still interests, intrigues and horrifies. This giant monument in the heart of Berlin is a constant reminder to Germans of their country's history, the horrors of the Holocaust. It is a mark of respect to those who were killed in the concentration camps. Of course, Germany has long moved on. It has transformed. This is an entirely different country. And yet those memories, that history will never be forgotten here. And should never either, insist Holocaust experts who point out that film is not always about entertainment but education as well. Film festivals reach a much wider audience than uh, usually our educators and, and researchers do. So I think for keeping the awareness really alive and the interest alive, so I think it is important. In the, Hitler the documentary certainly helped with that education. Others, like this one, explore the life of Heinrich Himmler, the fascination with history portrayed in festival through fiction and fact, still very strong. Phil Lavelle, Al Jazeera, at the Berlin Film Festival.